So this was the weirdest thing. We discovered that Aspen Institute had created a workshop that it was attended by basically all of the major media, including, as well as all the major social media platforms, to basically pre-bunk in advance the Hunter Biden laptop, even though it had not been, there was no evidence that, 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 it, that, that it existed outside of the fact that the FBI knew that it, they had it because they got it in December 2019. So to have the Aspen Institute trying to persuade people not to cover the Hunter Biden laptop story in August and September of, of uh, 2020 was quite uh, chilling and disturbing to see. Um, these content moderators at social media platforms like Twitter wield an enormous amount of power in terms of determining not only what Americans can say, but also what Americans can see. Do you believe, Mr. Taibbi and Mr. Schellenberg, that it's appropriate for unelected bureaucrats or these tech companies to collude to influence what Americans can say or read? Absolutely not. And, you know, I wanted to stress again that all this was happening secretively with the blessing of the Department of Homeland Security, with them sending uh, things to, uh, from, this is from the EIP at Stanford to, uh, you know, to, to Twitter and Facebook saying, we repeat our recommendations that this account be suspended. We recommend labeling all instances of this article. We recommend that you flag as false this. All these demands being made secretly without any, any public review. My view is that we don't, uh, the government doesn't decide who can speak in the, in the town square. Why should the government be deciding who can speak on social media platforms? We the people should decide our own content as adults, legal content. It should not be decided by either government or big tech. And Mr. Tybee and Mr. Schellenberg, do you believe that this censorship is a form of election interference? I, absolutely it is. There's no question in my mind. Mr. Taibbi? Yes, I think it, it certainly can be. Um, in the latest story that we uh, did on the CTI League, uh, we saw the overt partisanship of the people involved in this uh, or operation. That was actually the reason the whistleblower came forward. Uh, the people involved, just assumed, one of the quote was, they assumed every, everyone who was smart thought the way they did. Um, they talked about the potential election of Donald Trump being an end of the world event. Um, they talk about the wackadoodles who actually watch Fox, Fox News. Um, and, you know, even as somebody who doesn't vote for Republicans, it was shocking to me to see this. And I think this was a consistent theme of, of uh, not just the CTI League, but most of the censorship organizations that we looked at. They all tend to drift in one direction. Yield back.